One of the great dangers of Vandervelt now is not to be carried away by the adulation of the multitude before the job is done. He won't know that Justin Leonard is in the water, in the burn at the final hole. Then I'm just going to be fascinated how he's going to play the 18th. Well done. We will at least have a three shot lead now going down the last hole. Now what to do? What to do? He's out with a driver now. Now I'm not sure this is right. He's going to be at least three shots ahead. A six will do. little rascal and that bounced and seemed to go way to the right rest of the spectators on the course make their way down to get a view of the closing stages but if I was his manager I would advise him to play safe and left he's three shots ahead but don't try and hit it too far because you can easily bounce on and go into the water not easy, you know, to make these sort of decisions, particularly when you're totally unused to being in this position. The, one of the greatest prize in golf is waiting to be plucked. And all I've got to do is get it up the fairway. Trouble on the right, out of bounds on the left, water in front. And there's no point in him flashing it at the green, but I think he might be. He is. First tee. I don't believe this. Well, hello. what is going on here? Let's have another look at uh, Vanderbilt's second. I never crossed my mind he was going to clatter into the grandstand and hit the face of the grandstand and bounce backwards. There it goes, there, misses everybody. And you see, misses the bounce on, on the stonework on the edge of the burn and then goes back into the hay behind, which is extraordinary. Uh, well, Michael, I'm sure, will be down there or somebody having a look at this lie. Peter, it's not one I would like at all. It's deep down the bottom here. He can get at it just, but he's got to go over the burn and then over the bunkers, but should go left. Uh, his golfing brain stopped about 10 minutes ago, I think. Paul Laurie, 6-0, he knows that, well, Vandervelde still has the luxury of uh, four shots. If he gets a six, that's a double burger that'll put him to plus five. He's going out left to the front of the green. Yeah, must be. I don't believe it. This is... You remember when <laughs> you really don't know what to say. The fellow had a three-shot lead ten minutes ago. He gets away with murder off the tee. And then he's, he's surely not going to go and climb down in there and try to whack it out of there. No, no, that would be that would be that would be totally ridiculous. No, what are you doing? What on earth are you doing? No, Jean, please. Would somebody kindly go and stop him? Give him a large brandy and mop him down. Then three shots already. Pick out for four. Pick on the green five. Well, these are unbelievable scenes. They really are. The, tr the thing is that the reason he's doing it is because he can see that half the ball is actually above the surface of the water. And he thinks he might be able to move it out of there. I don't think he's going <laughs> to last very long. I've never seen anything like it before and to attempt to hit the ball out of there is pure madness. He must, he should pick up, go back, drop, get it on the green, get a six, get in the playoff. 
I've got to get down here too. No, thank, thank goodness good sense prevails. Oh, yes. Anyone else would have said pitch it out to the left with a second shot and hit the third on the green, a couple of putts, and it's all yours. To allow him to take on that shot across the water, across the grandstand, was really... Well, it was without thought. In play now, down in two to win the Open Championship. When all he had to do. If he gets down in three, of course, it'll be a three-way playoff. They played a similar shot to the one he plopped into the burn. He just didn't accelerate through. Harry playing first. Might be just close to where Van der Velde will be standing. Oh, well. This is better than an eight-born farce. I mean, it's all going on here. It's most extraordinary. Now, if this goes in, I'm going to I'm going to pack it in. I'm going to retire if he holds this. He's had six. Now he's got to hold this. We've got to hold this to get in the playoff. Please give him one good putt. Please. Won't you believe it? Oh. I've seen it, but I'm not sure I believe it, Alex. They'll remember this one for an awful long time. And how courageous he was to finish the job off, even if it was for a seven. But it got him to the playoff. Do you remember the championship at Cundiff? Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 now, Mr. Lorry. Go on then, do a proper nash. That'll do. Yes. <laughs> Shot of the day. Wonderful. So it's not all over. In his heart, he knows it is. Let's have a look at Paul Laurie from above. He was not going to lay up short, count on the others taking fives. He went straight at it up the narrow side. One of the bravest and best shots of the week. And he certainly played these last holes better than anybody else in the fourth round and in the playoff. He's probably going to finish 3-3. And that really is tremendous. If only he had laid up on 18. He would have been the Open champion, and now you're looking at the Open champion. Paul Lawrence. Laurie's the winner. But to finish 3-3 to claim the prize is quite magical. But our sympathies to Van der Velde, who had it in the palm of his hand, and before he could close the fingers round the handles of the jug, it was snatched away.